223 yachts line up for the biggest sailing race in the world, the 70-mile annual free-for-all round the Isle of Wight. Promising to keep out of the way, our cameraman thumbs a lift on Mr. E. Ferguson's yacht, Taffrail. First away at 6.30 in the morning are the Atalantas and the junior offshore group. A westerly breeze promises a fast race. It's Genoa's all round along the Solent Beat, and dodging the other craft is more of a problem than sailing the most advantageous course. The early start means reaching the needles before the tide turns foul. That westerly breeze is freshening steadily as the Armada approaches the needles, and there they are. going about for the long run along the south of the island, where there's going to be all the wind anybody wants. Not too much for the spinnakers, though, as yet, but they'll have to be watched. This famous race really is free for all. Pretty well everything with a lid to her cabin and a waterline of 19 feet 6 inches and upwards, and they come from all over Britain. Now the wind's hardened to force four, and wind over tide is whipping up quite a sea. Some of those boys are wondering if they didn't hang on to their spinnakers too long. Rounding the headland for the Spithead Beat. No man's land fought. The foul tide up Spithead slows them up a bit, but it's still one of the fastest races ever. First home is Flicker the second in just over six hours. Our cameraman thinks there should be a prize for the wettest passenger.